Jesus, he's going to reach out for you. And that day the woman had spent her life savings trusting in man, trusting in doctors, and doctors couldn't do anything for her. But the moment she reached out using her faith and touched the hem of the garment, and, and it, just by touching the hem, it was her faith that made her whole. It was her faith that healed her that day. The garment had nothing to do with it. But when you reach out to touch Jesus, his virtue is coming back to you. That healing virtue is coming, church. All you have to do is believe. And that's why on Sunday mornings we have the healing line here. Christians can get sick. The enemy can place stuff on you. And sometimes the Lord allows things to come on us just to see if we're going to get out of our seat and take that walk to the altar and say, Lord, I believe that you can. I know you will. And I'm coming to get my healing. You see, the Word of God, we have to, we have to place our trust in the Lord. That woman could have laid in bed that day. She'd been sick for 12 years, had an issue of blood. She could have stayed at home again that day and said, God, I know that you can reach down and touch me. I know that you can heal me right here in my house. I know you can heal me because I believe in you, Lord. And she'd have still been sick and maybe even died. But she didn't sit around. She exercised. She put feet on her faith. She said, I believe and I'm going. Hallelujah, that's what you have to do. You have to get up out of the seat and say, I believe and I'm going, and I'm going to that altar. I know the day I got saved. Now, listen, the Lord could have saved me easily anywhere on planet Earth. But that day he told me to go to the altar and confess. I had to confess before men that I was a sinner. My flesh didn't want to do it. But praise God, he showed me that I was going to hell if I didn't. And I put feet on my faith. I, I put the feet out there and I stepped out in the aisle and I went to the altar. And when I got to the altar, I received my blessing. I received my salvation. I met the love of Christ. And some of you need to put feet on your faith. And I want to remind everybody once again, if you want to get these two CDs, uh, dial the number on the screen. Call. There'll be a counselor there that'll tell you our special offer today. And, and uh, you know, they'll, they'll tell you how you can get them. We'll send them to you. Postage pay. We'll do everything. You'll be blessed by them. I promise you that. And I want to, to talk for just a moment because... I've got so much in congregation here. We're going to get into the service in just a minute, minute uh, because God's given me a message, and we may be here this afternoon. I don't know how long we'll be. Those of you joining by television, you see about 25, 30 minutes of the program. Uh, we've been having church in here for going on two hours already, and, and we're going to have church probably another hour or two before we get out of here today. And so if you live within driving distance, do yourself a favor. Come visit. Uh, we're a full gospel, which means we believe the Word of God. We've got Presbyterian, Methodist, Baptist. We've got all kind of Christians in here. doesn't make any difference what church you're in. And I was telling the congregation earlier, as long as Christ is in your heart, as long as you're born again, you're a child of God. And if you've never accepted Christ, or if you don't like the churches you visited, come visit here. And if you like it, stay. And if you don't, just keep looking because you belong to God. And we invite you to come to Crossroads and worship with us. We have church services every Sunday morning at 10, Sunday nights at 6, Tuesday nights at 7. And we invite you to come as you are. You don't have to clean up to come to Christ. And, uh, and we don't look at your clothes or your apparel either. You just come into God's house. And God will take care of everything else. But we invite you to come worship with us. And, uh, and we ask you to support the ministry. It's your gifts and love offerings that keeps this ministry on television. And, and we're preaching to millions of people. But right now, if God's dealing with your heart or, or something that's been said here today or, or in the song, and you know that there's an emptiness in your heart that you, you need to turn your life around, I'm going to say the sinner's prayer for those joining by television. And if you want to repeat this prayer and mean it in your heart, the Lord will set you free right now. Would you bow your head and say this prayer with me? Father God, I come before you today. I am a sinner. And I ask you, Father, to forgive my sins. Place them under the blood of Jesus. For I believe in my heart and I'm confessing with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God and that you raised him from the dead. And this moment, I invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart to be my Savior, to be Lord of my life. And I ask you, Father, to write my name in the Lamb's book of life and seal me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day of redemption. For I ask this in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. If you said that prayer, there's a number on the screen. Write, write down the number, call, write down the address, call, 
and get in touch with us. Let us know that you've just accepted Christ. And we've, we've got a couple of books we want to send you. Welcome to your new beginning and the gospel according to John. We'll send it to you absolutely free of charge. All you have to do is call us and let us know. I've invited Christ into my heart. And pray for us always. Support us when you can. Remember, Jesus is the answer around the world. God bless you. He is the answer, the answer around the world.